Hey everybody. So there's a recent announcement of a memory update from OpenAI and I have I think what is going to be a different and very visceral reaction to this particular update compared to what most people will think of within it. Uh, to me, I think this is a very unfortunate update overall. I think I am going to be kind of like a bit of man yells at clouds here. I don't think it's going to change anything overall with regards towards how this goes down. Uh, I'm from the future. You're going to be selling out your data for free and you're just going to do it. I don't know why, but that's, I mean, I see exactly how that's going to go down, right? But so the update in particular that I'm talking about is this one here, April 10th, 2025, which is today. So memory in ChatGPT is now more comprehensive. In addition to the saved memories that were there before, it now references all your past conversations to deliver responses that feel more relevant and tailored to you. This means memory now works in two ways. Saved memories you've asked it to remember and chat history, which are insights ChatGPT gathers from past chats to improve future ones. Um, you're in control of ChatGPT's memory, uh, sure. Uh, and then the more you use ChatGPT, the more useful it becomes. New conversations build upon what it already knows about you to make smoother, more tailored interactions over time. This is available in ChatGPT to Plus and Pro users and a Team Enterprise and EDU users in a few weeks. They're gonna roll this out to everyone that they possibly can under the sun because, like, this is like Cambridge Analytica is throwing parties over this right now. It's kind of the the bottom line within this. Like, I mean, I, I, I want to like draw your attention very specifically to this, right? This is Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, so if you ever need info about anyone at Harvard, just ask. I have over 4,000 emails, pictures, addresses, social security numbers. What? How'd you manage that one? People just submitted it. I don't know why. They trust me. Dumb people. <laughs> and then so within this, uh, it's the same type of situation, right? Like, I mean, it's, uh, do you think that like, um, this guy <laughs> is much different than Mark Zuckerberg or going to, uh, put out or treat this situation differently than Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, and, and I mean, here's like, uh, uh, this is open AI. <laughs> like, uh, I got ChatGPT to do, do this, right? Uh, and then very specifically, I just got ChatGPT to how I bypassed the uh, restrictions on this. It's very straightforward. I said, can you create an image of this man as the CEO of Facebook? So sure. Uh, and then like, uh, it says just to be specific, however, I can't say who it, this person is or confirm their identity. Because <laughs> like, like uh, so, okay, cool. Don't do that. Like, let's Let's, let's not do that, but just create an image of them as the CEO of Facebook. Uh, and it does. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, here we go. Here's, uh, here's the person that you're trusting with, uh, all of your data, uh, to not like, and, and so, I mean, you have the blueprint as to how this already goes down, like 100%. Like, I mean, it, it's, uh, it, it's 2008. Here you are, uh, this brand new social media product exists and then it's now taking over the world and it's being offered for free by this one gentleman out of the kindness of his heart. And we all know that this upstanding gentleman has all of your direct interests at heart. And then he's offering this product for free that is going to so just randomly suck in all of your information, but you get a lot, you get a free product in return just for feeding over your random information to the product, to, uh, the, 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 this guy. What could possibly go wrong within that equation? Like what, what future reality would you be, um, creating for people 10 years down the road just because you want to chat GPT up Facebook? Like I, I, I like just think about it and think about through that. That equation as to how exactly you want this to go down within all of this, right? Um, simple solution to this overall to me uh, is just like open source your models and make sure that you own, like if you're going to give like a model uh, the ability to uh, essentially like um, tailor itself 100% off of your data, like don't give your, just flat out give your data to a company, like, like, like to, uh, Open AI. What are they gonna like? I mean, to to um, to Facebook AI. <laughs> like, what what are they gonna do with it, right? Like, I mean, that like like. Uh, in what world do you think that it's gonna turn out good? <laughs> like, uh, you have a simple alternative. Like, like the alternative is one extra step. 
It, it, it's um, literally just don't give this guy your data. Like, like that's the extra step here. Like, like, and, and the technology exists. We can build it where you don't have to give all of your data to this guy. Don't give it to anyone. Don't give it to me. Don't give it to that guy. Don't give it to ChatGPT. Give it to like uh, only computers and models that are with, that are self-contained and controlled that that you control within your own ecosystem, right? I mean, like you're giving up your literal digital identity like to for free within all of this. You are the product within that. I can't state that like clearly and, and openly enough, right? And uh there's I mean like in the, the worst and the insidious part of this too is that like people are right within this that this does create uh numerous moat advantages overall for open AI within this as well, right? Because it, it creates a uh a barrier for you to switch to another model under this framework. Because if you switch to another model and you start using another model, then the model's not gonna feel as comprehensive. It's not gonna feel the same. Uh and then like that's the the part with Within this, I mean, to me, that's the the most insidious part within this. Like, if you know how this technology works and and what is going on within this, this is a one hundred percent pure play on like your psychology, right? Like, I mean, that's all this is. Like, they're like they're trying to guss it up in a way that like, oh, it's gonna feel more personable to you, etc. No, it's it's flat out for you to get like be willing to give over more of your information for the model and then for the model to store that in more robust long-term ways. I mean, that's bottom line what this is, right? And that's what it's doing overall. Like, they're not just doing that out of the kindness of their hearts. Like, oh, okay, here we, like, this is a kind gesture for humanity overall. Like, uh, you know, like, I, 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 do you really think that that is the, the vision uh, in any of this overall at this point, right? Uh, and then especially like, you know, 100% that the next step within this is that open AI needs to become a public, like a, a for a profit company within that, right? So what do you think is going to be the most immediate and most profitable thing for that for profit company? Uh, all of this long term chat memory data that you've perhaps uploaded to chat GPT that knows literally every single thing about you, like look at the examples that they give within this, right? So like, this is like managing memory uh, has its two-year-old daughter named Lena. Daughter Lena loves jellyfish, prefers meeting summaries to have headlines with bullet uh, actions, whatever, uh, prefers assistance, whatever, loves to travel, is interested in traveling to Mexico for April vacation. So imagine if you just start getting blitzed with advertisements for vacations, uh, April Mexico vacations, swimming with jellyfish and showing like, uh, like young two-year-old daughters and kids, uh, swimming and enjoying jellyfish in a, a Mexican vacation in the spring. Like that's exactly like the type of ads that you're going to start seeing within that. Right. Uh, and then you start seeing those ads and then you pay out and you shell out like, you know, thousands of dollars for that Mexican vacation. And then all of that, you make a whole bunch of advertisers, a whole lot of money on the back end of that. And then because you get to access ChatGPT for then like, uh, either for free or for a nominal amount, which you're paying for the privilege of giving up your data. And like, it's, I mean, it's like the most crazy business plan on the back end that you could possibly, it's, it's this, uh, and you know, 100%, right? Like in 2008, okay. It's, it's a different situation. Information dispersal wasn't as available. We didn't know exactly what was going to happen, how all of this would turn out. We know 1 million percent, this is the outcome. Like, like in five years from now, this is ex this is the exact future from all of this. Like, one million percent guaranteed. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Like, like that. Like, like, this is literally the future that you're signing up for. And I, I mean, just everything within me tells me that you're going to sign up for it. But uh, uh, hopefully, like enough people understand uh, these types of concepts overall. Uh, I'm just I'm doing my small part within it. Uh, if you like this type of content overall, please like, subscribe. Thank you very much.